Hey everybody, Tony D and Little Joan here with Screenwriter's Rant on Arkham Horror Mother's Embrace, the official trailer of the video game. It looks pretty awesome. Uh, we're going to talk about it. Uh, this is based on H.P. Lovecraft. If you're a fan of horror, you know who that is. Um, so let's get into it. But before that, quick update on the basement. Uh, my, my family's helped me get, get things squared away. So we got about half the rug up, and then tomorrow uh, we got to move some more stuff, get the other half up, and we're on our way to a house that maybe doesn't smell like mildew. That would be nice. Uh, the fridge is still broke. I, I can't get a guy here until Monday. But anyhow, uh, Arkham Har. Uh, Har fans, HP Lovecraft fans, they know it. They know the name, right? Arkham. That is the name. Uh, that's used in a lot of HP's stuff, his mythos. And his mythos is based on this idea that um, there were these ancient gods and these uh, basically they're sort of like space creatures. <laughs> like these horrific creatures from like another dark dimension that actually rule the worlds. And, and you know, they're just so impossibly powerful. Humanity has zero hope of standing up to them. And then there are some people who worship them as gods and try to get favors from them. And they use all sorts of dark magics and, and it's very corrupting. So it's a, it's a very dark universe, very dark. And it makes for great games. A uh, role-playing game back in the day was called Call of Cthulhu. And that was based on a lot of HP stuff. These days, HP is pretty much canceled because of his views on race. Uh, but keep in mind, he was, you know, a, a guy of his time. He was still pretty racist, but, you know. Um, he, uh, uh, he wrote a lot of his stories. They took place uh, in this time period. And this video game takes place in the 20s. So it's got this sort of cool look to it. And at the same time, it's, it's modern enough that some of the stuff is recognizable where at the same time it's in the past so you don't have things like the internet and videotape and stuff like that um and uh it, it just makes for a great horror story it, it just everything always goes very very wrong in these games so it makes for a good video game so it opens up with um a woman a female narrator talking about science She's obviously a scientist, and she uh, watches the stars. And uh, at first, it seems like, okay, she seems like a woman ahead of her time, right? A female scientist in the 1920s. Oh. But then you see, <laughs> beware of the comet, for she is coming with it. And then you're like, what? What, what the heck's going on? And this is typical in um, these kinds of uh, stories from H.P. Lovecraft. It's, you know, it's usually something about these hor horrific creatures, occult, and going insane if you know too much. So that was actually part of the role-playing game. Um, you, you got so many sanity points, and you had to be careful if you lost too many sanity points. You just went nuts, and you had to, you had to start your character over. You, you, your character would end up in an insane asylum, and that would be it. Um, so, uh, great opening here with like a creature, uh, I'll just show you this bit. So just, you're standing in the hallway and you're looking that way and you see a creature and then you turn and boom, boom, the cultist gets you. And you can see this very sort of gothic mansion that you're going to explore. It's pretty awesome. And, uh, uh, I guess this is the main character, her friend who finds... Now, she's narrating about halfway through the trailer, and this is a great cinematic device. You find out she's narrating from beyond the grave because she's already dead, and he's investigating her murder. And there's all sorts of crazy clues, like is she, did she go insane uh, and, and uncover something? Uh, was she killed by the cultist? Was she killed by a monster? Did she kill herself in a you know weird moment? So it's called uh, Arkham Horror Mother's Embrace. 
and uh, the graphics look okay, a little cartoony, but uh, I could totally deal with that. The, the, the sets look very realistic, which is interesting. And uh, you've got a detective, like a 20s detective, and that's it's very cool. Plenty of tropes there. Um, handy because, you know, this was sort of the, the sort of character you could play in the game. You already have a gun, you already have some skills, um, which come in very handy when you have to fight these cultists and the monsters. So it's good balance to be a detective. But you need a guy like this, a, a bookworm, to uh, pour over the tomes. But again, you can't read too many tomes because then you lose your sanity. Um, knowing too much is a bad thing in this world. And then you see the cultist in the shadows plotting and planning. Um, and then this was kind of odd. Like there's some crazy creature tied to a table and it's just sort of quivering uh, like she was doing some sort of dissection. And of course, there's things going on in the woods like these guys are chanting and they're, they're, they're summoning this monster from uh, beyond the veil, as they call it. It's a little bit like Stranger Things, the Upside Down, except much more dark, much more darker than that. Um, in fact, I thought Stranger Things might segue into that. Maybe, maybe that's what they based it on. Um, here's a flapper girl going insane. Um, lots of people go insane in this world. And then here's a, this very video game scene where there's monsters on the street and this guy's just walking along shooting them. Uh, here's someone summoning something. It's always bad to use the magic uh, in the game. Uh, here's, here he is in a shot with a shotgun and there's the place is on fire. And... Uh, See, again, the upside down. That's what this signifies. It's a part here. I'll show you. I'll show you just this little bit here. Let me give you a sort of a glimpse. See, see, it's that weird effect. Like the world is, you know, is this the world or is this the veil underneath? Um, and so she's the narrator, and but she's dead. I thought we were going to get to see some crazy image at the end here, but we didn't. Um, Madness begins when reality departs. <laughs> Pre-order available now. Uh, so this is coming out March 23rd for the PS4, Xbox One, Switch. It's on Steam. Everybody's got it. Uh, I think this is going to be decent. At least the story looks decent. I don't know about the gameplay. That's eh, It's really separate when you think about it. But, you know, in these linear games, eh, I, don't, I don't know if the gameplay is that crucial, you know. It's more about finding the clues and moving forward. Uh, not so much the actual action. There are better games for that. You know, games that rely on action, that are all action basically, and you know, very little story, uh, depending on what you like. But um, if you like horror, uh, I think this could be a good game. Yeah, I'm gonna give it an upvote. Looks looks good. Arkham Horror, Mother's Embrace, uh, March 23rd.